Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 8th of July 2024. Essence. Sweet children, learn to have mercy for those who defame you, just as the Father does. Also make friends with those who defame you. Question. What vision of the Father is firm? What vision do you children have to make firm? Answer. The Father's vision of all souls being his children is firm. This is why he continues to say, Child, child. You can never say, Child, child, to anyone. You have to make your vision firm that that soul is your brother. See the brother, speak to the brother, see the brother, speak to the brother, and there will be spiritual love through that. All criminal thoughts will end. Even those who defame you will become your friends. Om Shanti The spiritual father sits here and explains to you. What is the name of the spiritual father? You would definitely say Shiva. He is the spiritual father of everyone. He alone is called God. You children too understand this number wise according to your efforts. When they speak of Akashvani, sound from the ether, Whose sound do they say comes from the ether? That of Shiv Baba. This mouth is called ether. All human beings make sound emerge from the element of ether, mouth. All souls have forgotten their father. They continue to sing all types of praise, but they don't know anything. It is here that they praise him. No one even remembers the father in the times of happiness because all their desires have been fulfilled there. Here they have many desires. When there isn't any rain, they create sacrificial fires. It isn't that by them creating a sacrificial fire, there will always be rain. No. Sometimes there may be famine somewhere and even if they create a sacrificial fire, nothing happens through that. This is the drama. All the calamities that are to come will continue to come. So many human beings and so many animals etc. continue to die. People are so unhappy. Is there a sacrificial fire for stopping rain? When there is torrential rain, they create a sacrificial fire. Only you now understand all of these things. No one else knows. The Father himself sits here and explains to you. People praise the Father and they also defame him. It is a wonder. When did they begin to defame Baba? When the kingdom of Ravan began. The main defamation is that they have called God omnipresent. It is because of this that they have fallen. It is remembered, those who defame you are your friends. Who has defamed God the most? You children. And it is you children who now become friends. In fact, the whole world defames him, but you are number one in this and then you become friends. The closest friends are the children. The unlimited father says, You children have defamed me and it is you children who also insult me. Look how the drama has been created. These are things of this knowledge that you have to churn. 
To churn the ocean of knowledge has so many meanings. No one can understand them. The father says, You children study this knowledge and then uplift others. It is also remembered, When there is extreme irreligiousness, I come. This refers to Barrett. Look what the play is like. People celebrate the birthday of Shiva and the night of Shiva. In fact, there is just the one incarnation. People have said that the incarnation is also in pebbles and stones. The father complains about this. Those who study the Gita and read those versions also say that they don't know anything. Only you are the loveliest children of all. When Baba speaks to anyone, he continually says, Child, child. The father's vision of everyone being his children has become firm. All souls are my children. There isn't a single one of you who would say, Child, child. You know what status each one has and what each one is. All are souls. This drama is predestined and this is why there is no happiness or sorrow. All are my children. Someone would have adopted the body of a lower caste and someone of such and such a caste. Baba has developed the habit of saying, Child, child. In Baba's vision, all are souls. In that too, he loves the poor ones a lot, because according to the drama, they are the ones who have caused the most defamation, and they have now come to me. It is just Lakshmi and Narayan who are never defamed. People have defamed Sri Krishna a lot too. It is a wonder. When Sri Krishna became older, they didn't defame him. This knowledge is so interesting. No one can understand these deep things. A golden vessel is needed for this. That can only be created by having the pilgrimage of remembrance. Even while sitting here, some of you don't have accurate remembrance. They don't understand that they are tiny souls. It is with your intellects that you have to remember Baba. It doesn't enter your intellects that such a tiny soul is our father and also our teacher. It becomes impossible for this to enter your intellects. You continue to say, Baba, Baba. You also remember him at times of sorrow. God speaks. Everyone remembers me at times of sorrow. No one remembers me in happiness. There is no need to remember me at that time. Here, there is so much sorrow and so many calamities, etc., that they remember him and say, O oh God, have mercy. Give me blessings. Even now, when you have become children, you write, Give me blessings. Give me power. Have mercy. Baba writes back, Claim power for yourself with the power of yoga. Have mercy and blessings for yourself. Give the tilak of sovereignty to yourself. I show you the way to do that. The teacher shows you the way to study. It is the student's duty to study and follow directions. A teacher is not a guru who would give you mercy and blessings. Those who are good children would come running here. Each one is independent and can run as much as he or she wants. The pilgrimage of remembrance is the race. 
Each soul is independent. Baba also freed you from the relationship of brother and sister. Consider yourselves to be brothers. In spite of that, the eyes do not stop being criminal. They continue to do their work. At this time, all parts of human bodies are criminal. If anyone kicks someone or pushes someone, those are criminal parts. Every part of bodies is criminal. There, no part will be criminal. Here, every part performs criminal acts, which is the most criminal part of all, the eyes. When the desire for lust is not fulfilled, they begin to use their hands. First of all are the eyes. This is why there is the story of Surdas. He plucked out his own eyes. Shiv Baba has not studied any scriptures. This chariot has studied them. Shiv Baba is called the ocean of knowledge. You understand that Shiv Baba does not pick up any scriptures. I am knowledgeful, the seed. This is the world tree and its creator is the father, the seed. Baba explains. My place of residence is the incorporeal world. At this time I am present in this body. No one else can say, I am the seed of this human world tree. I am the supreme father, the supreme soul. No one else can say this. If someone were to tell a sensible person that God is omnipresent, he would instantly ask, Are you God? Are you Allah? This cannot be. However, no one is sensible at this time. They don't know Allah, and so they say, I am Allah. In English they say, omnipresent. If they were to understand the meaning of this, they would never say it. You children know that Shiv Baba's birth means the birth of the new world. Purity, peace and happiness are all included in that. Shiv Jenti is Sri Krishna Jenti, which is also Dashera Jenti. Shiv Jenti is also Deepamala Jenti. Shiv Jenti is also the birth of heaven. All the Jentis come together. The father sits here and explains all of these new things. Shiva's birth means the birth of the temple of Shiva and the death of the brothel. The father explains all new things to you. Shiva's birth means the birth of the new world. People want there to be peace in the world. No matter how well you explain to them, they won't awaken. They are sleeping in the darkness of ignorance. They continue to perform devotion and come down the ladder. The father says, I come and grant salvation to everyone. The father explains the secrets of heaven and hell to you children. You should write to the newspaper journalists who defame you. Those who defame us are our friends. We will also definitely grant you salvation. Insult us as much as you want. People defame God and so what does it matter if you defame us? We will definitely grant you salvation. If you don't want it, we will catch hold of you by the nose and take you with us. There is nothing to be afraid of. Whatever you do now, you also did that in the previous cycle. We BKs grant salvation to everyone. 
you should explain to them very well. You children forget that innocent women were assaulted even in the previous cycle. The father says, All the unlimited children defame me. It is the children who are my friends who are loved the most. Children are flowers. Parents kiss their children. Their fathers place them on their heads and serve them. Baba also serves you children. You have now received this knowledge which you will take with you. Those who don't take it, that is in their parts in the drama, they will play those parts. They settle their karmic accounts and go back home. They cannot see heaven. Not everyone will see heaven. This drama is predestined. The people who commit a lot of sin will come later. Those who are Tamo Pradhan will come much later. The significance of this has to be understood very well. There are bad omens over even very good Maharati children and so they quickly get angry and then they don't write any letters. Baba also says, stop sending them Merleys. What is the benefit of giving the father's treasures to such children? Then if someone's eyes open, he says, I made a mistake. Some are not bothered about this at all. One shouldn't be so careless. There are many who don't even remember the father. They don't make anyone similar to themselves. Otherwise they would write to Baba, Baba, I remember you at every moment. Some are such that they write everyone's name. Give my remembrance to so and so. That is not real remembrance. Falsehood cannot continue. Their consciences will continue to bite them. Baba explains very good points to you children. Day by day, Baba continues to explain very deep things to you. Mountains of sorrow are to fall. There will be no mention of sorrow in the golden age. It is now the kingdom of Ravan. The king of Mysore has an effigy of Ravan made and celebrates to share a great deal. They call Rama God, but Rama's Sita was abducted. If he is the almighty authority, how could anyone steal anyone from him? All of that is blind faith. There is the rubbish of the five vices in everyone at this time. To say that God is omnipresent is a great lie. This is why the father says, Whenever there is extreme irreligiousness, I come. I come and establish the land of truth and the true religion. I come and establish the land of truth and the true religion. The golden age is called the land of truth and the iron age is called the land of falsehood. The father is now making the land of falsehood into the land of truth. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. In order to understand this deep and interesting knowledge, Make your intellect into a golden vessel with the pilgrimage of remembrance. Run a race of remembrance. 2. Follow the Father's directions, 
study with attention and have mercy and blessings for yourself. Give yourself a tillock of self-sovereignty. Consider anyone who defames you to be your friend and also grant him salvation. Blessing May you be an image that grants blessings and does service by incarnating as an incarnation from above. Just as the Father comes down here from the subtle region to do service, in the same way you too have to come down from the subtle region to do service. When you do service in this awareness, you will remain constantly detached and be loved by the world the same as the Father is. To come down here from up above means to come down as an incarnation and do service. Everyone wants an incarnation to come and take them back with him. So you are the true incarnations who will take everyone back to the land of liberation. When you serve while considering yourself to be an incarnation, you will become an image that grants blessings and the desires of many will be fulfilled. Slogan No matter whether anyone gives you something good or bad, you just have to continue to have mercy for them and give everyone love and cooperation. Om Shanti